Right, so I'll do another video now, as promised, uh, about how to come around one of these corners in the chimney breast. We've also got a socket down here that isn't one of the bigger boxes. So I'm going to show you how just to come in through there as well. As you can see, I've taken it away from the wall. It just makes things a little easier to work around there rather than it being on. I've already came around this corner here. Cut in there nicely. Around there. And we've actually got quite a straight edge to work with here, so that's quite good. Sometimes if the chimney breast isn't running true, we may be left with an overlapping cut and joint. It's not something I'm going to be doing on this job. Uh, maybe, maybe in the future I can do something like that and actually show you what an overlapping cut and joint is. But I think on this one we're going to be okay. So I've pasted this area already with generous helping of wallpaper paste top to bottom and just coming around this corner for this piece of paper to go into. So let me just pop you into the head cam and I'll get this next piece of paper and I'll get it up and show you how to get around one of these corners. There we go. So this piece of paper here all ready to go. And we're going to come into this line Now I will be having to make some cuts on this piece of paper to get it to go around the corner. But it will not just go around there with any ease. So make sure we've roughly got that line tightly up into that foot joint there. I'm quite happy with that. Right. So now get all of this nice and all the air out coming into this corner of the wall. I'm going to start actually from the top and then I'm going to fold it around. I'm going to make my cut coming back in to the top edge of this picture rail and try and get as close to the tip of that wall as it comes down as we can. I'm going to do the same with the bottom find the top of the skirting and I'm going to cut in as close so I can with that wall. Then what I'm going to do is get my Stanley knife and I'm going to come back from the edge of the wall into that bit that I've just cut with the scissors and I'm going to do the same with the top. I'm going to find the corner of the wall and I'm just going to cut back up into the area I have cut with the scissors. And then I'm just gonna, with my finger and thumb, I'm just gonna start bringing it around this edge. Nice and careful when we get to the bottom because we don't want to start to rip the paper. We want to get it round that corner as best as we can without any damage. I'm just going to sit it in behind this socket for now. Just get it so we are coming around. I'm going to push this through and push it up and round so we get a nice tight fit onto the corner of this chimney breast here. Again, we're pushing all of the air out and right round into the bottom of here. As you can see, we've just got a little crease there that's just appeared. 
So we just need to try and work that out carefully without getting any kinks in there. Straight up into the top. It's feeling pretty good to me. I'll just get that seam right down where we've pasted into the skirt and check that corner again. Just run that hand down there because we want this to have a really good stick to coming around that corner. Now with the with the brush, we're just gonna lay it off up there. Make sure we've got all the air out. All the way up, top to bottom. And just make sure we've got a tighter fit as possible on there. Without making these cuts into the top by the picture rail and the bottom of the skirting board, this paper will not go around there. Just be careful. Don't go at it too hard. Just take your time. Make your cuts carefully and just ease that paper around there just to avoid any kind of damage. Okay, now we're into the back of that socket. I'm just going to cut through here. Okay, making sure there are no wires anywhere near where you are cutting with this standing knife. I'm going to make a fold there and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm just going to follow that line down with these. And that will get us in and around that plug socket nice and neatly. I will be applying the second piece of paper around this corner into there and I'll be doing the same as this. I'll be getting the paper all the way back round. I'll pull these cables over. In fact, what I'll do is I'll do another little video of uh, me coming into that corner. I'm going to get this piece trimmed up and then I'll do another little video coming into this corner and round um, the rest of that plug socket. Okay, the uh, next video has promised me coming around this corner. I have pasted this, so I'm just going to lift this away from the wall ever so slightly. I'm going to take, I'm going to cut this piece in at 10 inches to give me a little bit of room to play with when it comes to me getting around this corner. As I say, I'm not taking the lines of paper in and around the corners because I don't want to risk them coming away in the future and, and just looking a bit of a mess. I want to get right into each corner and have each individual wall as its own papered section. So what I'm going to do, you can hopefully see that I've lightly just folded this piece of paper up here. I've measured in from the very edge of all the pieces of paper that I have roughly 10 inches in, which is where we want to be. Now what I'm then going to do with this fold in the center is I'm just going to cut straight through all of this paper. This edge, the one we haven't cut, I'm just going to run it straight up in there. Just following that line all the way down, working with it and just getting it in. Gently does it. I don't want to damage anything. Got my scissors, my standing knife as well, which is just there. Because what I'm going to do here to make this piece work 
is I'm just going to come around it with the scissors just to make it a little bit easier to work with the rest of the paper. Again, checking where all the wires are because we do not want to be cutting through any of those. Sometimes easier just to be able to see where you're going. I'm going to get that knife right in the back, nice and carefully. And we're just going to take it right across the top of there. And I'm going to move it out and I'm going to fold it in and down, pulling the socket away. And now we're going to make the cut coming down the socket. So just making the cut down to the bottom of that socket, pushing it in, we know where we are, just trying to work it around and under this wiring, just like so, and I'm just going to make a cut in here where this main power cable comes in, cutting away from it into that piece, I'm going to lift the socket up and I'm just going to fold the rest of that in and just give it a mark with my finger and I'm actually going to cut those with my scissors and I don't want to mess around under there with the electrics. Sometimes just making a fold gives you that rough line you need just to follow yourself under where you need to be. Okay, and now we're going to work it into the corner itself. After we've got around that socket, that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is getting a nice tight fit up into this corner without moving the seam we have just put on here. Sometimes that can happen when you're pushing it one way, it will just drag it over a little. So try and keep it stable with one hand on the seam and the other hand into the joint of the two walls. And when we come down into this corner, we may need to make another cut. It might actually be okay because we've not got loads of paper hanging over there. I'm going to do it anyway, just to get us nice and tight into there. So I'm going to cut in. You can see the folds here into this corner. We've got a little crease coming up there. I'm going to take it to the crease. I'm not going to go into the crease. I'm going to go to the crease. And I'm going to pull it back out onto itself, just like that. And I'm going to work that edge into the, the corner with my finger. And I'm going to just go up to the top and I'm going to do the same there. Let's just try and move that back over a little bit. As we can see again, we've got the little crease to creeping up here. So I'm going to cut through it close into the corner as we can. I'm going to lift those two pieces out and I'm going to push that one through, allowing that cut just to help us around that corner. Now I'm going to get these pieces trimmed up and I'm going to get the socket back on the wall. And that is just how you come into a corner and around the socket area as well.